YouTube, what is up? It's AD with US Squads. Hope you guys are having a kick-ass day. Tonight, we are talking about an Atlas bipod, and we're talking about their big new bad boy, the 5H. Uh, specifically, the model number is the BT35-LW17. Now, we're going to do an open box today, and I'm going to mount this onto one of my rifles, but this is basically their big bore version, their super duty version of what uh, we know as the Atlas bipod. Now this is the PSR standard link PSR with the ADM mount. This is a classic bipod um, that I've used for over a year. Now I've taken this bad boy um, to shooting matches, I've taken this hunting, I've taken this everywhere and it's worked really really well. 9,000 foot elevation on the hunts and sea level for rifle training at rifles only in really shitty weather, rain, humidity, etc. Performs perfect. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Maybe a little rusting in these inside pivot pins, but otherwise, um, it's held up really good. I just don't take care of my stuff, I'll be honest. Um, I'm pretty rough on my gear, so this is held up really well. Now, um, we're going to do an unboxing, but uh, we're going to show you what this is going to be mounted on. Um, this is going to be mounted on a Barrett 98 Bravo chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. And this is the specific application uh, that I believe Atlas is trying to fulfill for the big bore guns, the 50 cals, the shy techs, the 338 Lapua Magnum rifles. Now that Barrett weighs about 16 and a half pounds with ammunition, so that is a pretty heavy rifle, heavy recoil. Um, and so anyway, so let's do an unbox. Let's show you guys what's in the box and then I'm going to mount it on the rifle and give you guys a quick run through of how this bipod pretty much works for the most part. Unlike the PSR versions of the Atlas bipod that come in a, like a little plastic bag and a, and like an instruction manual, this actually has a box and for a good reason. It's pretty, uh, kind of a big unit. So this patch actually doesn't come with it. My buddy uh, gave this to me. He is actually a, a, a authorized reseller. Made in the USA, BT Industries, LLC. And let's show you what's in the box. So we have it, some swag, sticker. Don't buy fake copies of the Atlas bipod. Um, I don't think there's going to be a fake version of this built. It's a little too complicated in my mind, but you never know. If a fake one comes out, well... <laughs> We'll, we'll be interested in just checking it out, but uh, if you guys know my stance on things, I kind of like the real stuff uh, for a good reason, and we we'll, might cover that at the end of the video, but this just lets you know to buy OEM, the real deal. And then, um, instruction manual is pretty simple. A uh, little sheet of their yellow card, which seems to be a common theme. M made in the USA, uh, Wichita, Kansas, Atlas Bipod, b and Industries. You have 15 degrees of pan and cant, weighs 26 ounces, which is like 13 ounces heavier than the uh, PSR version. Um, but, you know, f wait till you see the size of this and you'll understand why. Swappable optional feet, heat treated stainless steel components, and a tension wheel, patented multiple leg positions, 40, 45, well, 45, 90, 135, and 180. Um, and then best materials from the USA so that's cool so we're gonna put the uh, material aside you're gonna have a locking pin with a little lanyard on here and I'm kinda wondering why they made this bright yellow uh, probably so you can find it but um, I'll explain this little piece in just a moment um, and then we have the actual bipod that's in here in this foam cutout and as you can see this thing's just beefy as they get reminds me of something like a creature from like aliens or even like lost in space right it's just like got this cool design so wide base you got this huge block in the middle and these rails that kind of um, shift now I'm gonna show you kind of how this goes this is a this is for your Picatinny rail um, on the bottom of your rifle um, if you have swivel stud, you'll have to convert. You'll have to change that out and put um, something else on there. So you have a rail. That's the only way this mounts. And this this model, that is. And then you take this pin down. Once this is down, you can actually take advantage of your 15 degrees of cant. And then you're going to have 15 degrees of pan. See there? Left and right. 
Um, so once you get into position, let's pretend your ground is uneven and you have to go to your right. Well, you can do that to even out your rifle to square it up with your bubble level. You pull this lever down and it'll lock that hard into place. Very, very stable locking mechanism. Now, um, let me show you a close-up of this. So this is actually the back of the bipod. So when you're looking at it and it shows Atlas Bipod 5H, that's actually looking at the rear of the bipod. This is actually facing the front of your rifle. And pretty much you're going to have your your leg, your, here's your detents here to maneuver your legs into whatever position you want. That's to, toward the rear. 45 degrees to the front, 90 degrees straight up and down. Okay, you can have fun with that. The same mechanism to raise the length of the legs. Okay. Okay, so this little spin wheel here, here it clicking. So you're going to have to play with this detent wheel to find the right tension for this to lock down. As you move this right and left, you're going to loosen this up and then this will freely move. But you're going to just have to, with this pointed all the way down, you're just going to need to figure out how, see that's a little tight. Once that's locked down, that just locks it down. So right now I have it set kind of perfect. You're going to play with this wheel until you get that right tension. If you have this spun the wrong way and you can't even move this down and lock this toward you like that, see it's just jammed in there, that means you got to loosen it up a little bit, which is actually toward the, the right arrow. So, but as you loosen them up, this comes down way too easy. So I'm going to move it and, and make it a little tighter by going the other direction. If I go too far, that is pretty tight, but I can still lock that down. If I try to move that, it won't move. That's nice. That's what you want. Now, um, the rubber feet are pretty much the same as your regular Atlas. Now, another thing, another thing to note is to put this on your rifle, you're going you're gonna to see that the Picatinny rail won't, it won't fully open here in this position. You're going to have to move this all the way to the right side, like so. And then, then, at that point, your locking lever to your rifle will close. Does that make sense? That's kind of a different design. If you have it over here, obviously, you can't open it or close it. Got to move it all the way to the right, then release the ADM mount, and you can barely clear that spot right there. So let's put this on the rifle and show you how this looks. But at the, before I do that, let's just show you the size difference. So there's the 5H in its giant glory, and this is the standard size, AD, uh, standard size PSR with ADM mount. Okay. See how much wider and larger. And then want you to look at how, how big the legs are as far as thickness goes. These are much thicker than the standard Atlas legs and also the pads are much bigger. Again this is a beefier design for the big bore rifles. So that's to be expected. That's kind of its whole design purpose. So uh, before I put this on the rifle I'm going to talk about one last thing. Um, as we look to the front of the bipod there's going to be pretty much some threads here. And if you move this over, you'll see a little dimple here. Well, this dimple kind of lines up with this hole, too. And then you kind of just got to eyeball it, but it's about right there. When you put this in, let's pretend you're shooting PRS. I'm uh, not PRS, F-Class or something where you're, you're just going to be prone. You're shooting on concrete. Your shooting position is perfectly level, your shooting bench is level, your table is level. You can screw this all the way in and then wiggle it till you find that little detent and then, then lock this down. So no matter what, um, this is going to be, I guess, dead stop center um, when you do that. So rather than have any cap built into this, you can have this perfectly center. And then obviously once you screw that into that dimple, this won't move no matter what you do. You should lock it down anyway but you won't be able to move it and so that is that so make sure if you're going to shoot off the ground where the ground is uneven remove that and make sure that's not locked in so if you're fighting this make sure you don't have that locking pin in there okay all right let's put this on the rifle and show you guys what this is all about and show you guys what it looks like on an actual big bore rifle so 
going to take this, and I do have ammunition in this bad boy. Why? Because it's a rifle. It's supposed to have ammunition in it. So uh, the actual bore is clear, but I do have a full magazine. <laughs> so let's just check. Yep, we're clear. All right, so back to this setup. We're going to shift it to the right. We're going to make sure it's opened up, which it is. Remember, we have to shift it to the right. We're going to simply put in our Picatinny rail, like so. And I'm just going to lock it down. Now, um, just like the other bipods, that you might have to um, you might have to play around with the tension setting of the um, ADM mount to get it to fit your Picatinny rail, because everybody's Picatinny rail seem to be a little different. So here we are. It's mounted on the rifle. It's actually looking stout. So what's going to happen is I have a lot of pan and cant now because this is in the open position remember when this thing's down uh, which it is I, until I pull it toward me and lock it then all of a sudden the cant the, the pan and cant oh, well the pan still functions but the cant is locked down and ain't going nowhere so pretty cool design um, let me show you the back because you're not getting a great angle of it so that's the back angle and I'll tell you what this is really robust seems to uh, match this rifle just really nicely so that's kind of a front angle and what I like about it is uh, I have played around with this a little bit but let's say I want to I got my bubble level here on the bottom of my spur mount so I am level but let's pretend I'm not I'm getting to a spot that I want to be level okay want to cut lock that down so, at this point, it, it uh, another thing to note, if this is all the way in the forward position, it's going to be really wiggly, like that. Pull it down to the 6 o'clock position, it tightens up a little bit. As you pull it toward you, it's going to tighten up a little bit. So if you want micro adjustments, you can. But well, let's say that's level with my bubble level. I lock this down. I can load the bipod. It is really sturdy. I um, have to give it to give the credit to these engineers to make things even cooler. So here's what it looks like with it in the forward position, which is how I carry this stuff. It looks like a like a stealth fighter or something. It's like a so that's what that looks like. And then some of the shooters I know carry this with the bipods to the rear, which is makes it really adjustable and fun. So you can do that. That's kind of in the way though. Again, the nice thing about these is if it, it if you don't really want to mess with it when you're packing it around, it only takes a moment to remove it. And just like that, I can pull it off the rifle and I can put it on just as fast. Alright guys, to sum up, this is the Atlas 5H bipod. It is big, it is robust, it has no problems handling the weight of a 16.5 pound, 17 pound rifle. Um, designed for big bore rifles, you won't slap this type of bipod on a 22, uh, 308, or even you know anything pretty much lightweight. Um, the standard Atlas bipod, the the PSR is going to be just fine for that application. But if you do have a large bore rifle, um, where you have a lot more weight and you want better weight distribution, this might be a great option for you. Of course, the price point of 450 may be a little scary, but guess what? You're spending a shit ton of money on rifles, glass, and mounts. Honestly, <laughs> does $450 matter? Yeah, it matters in the end, but cr buy once, cry once, right? Because, uh, you know... I've only had Harris Bipod since I've owned most of my rifles and when this came out it was like $300 and I was kind of shitting my pants. Now I have two of these Atlases laying around and I, w I can't imagine using anything else. So uh, with that, you know, it's your money, do what you gotta do. If you find this product to be interesting, you know, um, jump online and grab one. And in fact, if you want to save some money, you can jump on my buddy's website and he has a website he's an authorized dealer so you're not gonna get anything shady with your stuff you're gonna get legit legitimate 
uh, real products and that's uh, precisionrifleshooters.com and then you can put in the discount code US squads I believe that'll save you some money off retail and you know get one in your hands if you want one uh, if not if this is too beefy and too big for you the PSR uh, standard size for me has been absolutely a phenomenal bipod um, very versatile very dependable reliable been really happy with these products so uh, we'll give this guy a try and see how she works on the big rifle um, we already know this works so this is kind of put to the side let's just keep on topic and you guys have a kick-ass day if you like the video give me a like share it and then of course if you're not a subscribe member subscribe it helps support our channel so we appreciate everything you guys have a kick-ass day night evening morning and you guys uh, talk to you guys soon